Hello, wonderful IELTS candidates. It is me, Jessica Beck, the host of this channel. Um, if you are new, thank you for showing up. Please subscribe. There are hundreds of useful videos here for your IELTS preparation. And if you're ready to commit yourself to a system that is guaranteed to get you the IELTS scores you need, get into our course, The Three Keys IELTS Success System. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. Okay, let's get into it. So. I'm going to give you guys some sample part three answers about devices and technology today. Um, recently, I did a vocab video about apps, and so I'm just carrying that forward today and with some sample answers for part three. So remember, guys, devices, technology, apps, this stuff comes up all the time. Um, in speaking part one, you could be asked about phones or apps. Part two, a time when you forgot your phone or found it useful or describe the first phone you had. Uh, part three, again, more abstract, but still on this topic. So let's get to the answers. Okay. Question one, do people spend too much time on phones and devices these days? Yeah, for sure. No doubt. Um, I can't tell you the number of times I've been in a restaurant and I look around and there are legit groups of people sitting at the same table, cohabitating the same space, and yet not interacting at all. They are all on their phones, checking whatever. And I can guarantee you that that does not bring them the sense of, of happiness that community will bring and live interaction will bring. So yeah, for sure, people spend way too much time on their devices, um, just mind-numbing screen actions these days. Um, okay. Question two, what are the negative consequences? Well, as I previously mentioned, it's the loss of community and interaction. I'm reading a book right now called America the Anxious, and it's all about the, the happiness industry in my country and how, uh, how much money this industry makes. Um, I think there are a lot of uh, ways we are addicted to our devices that also is geared towards this end, meaning we think it's going to make us happy, but it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, all the re I mean, there is scientific research that proves, as I read in this book, that uh, we need community, we need other people, we need interaction to have a sense of happiness in our lives. So that is the, the most enormous and egregious negative consequence that I can think of immediately. All right, question three. How can, uh, how can we limit people's time on devices? Um, <laughs> I, you know, that this is impossible really because every day it, there's some new app or some new function that is uh, launched that one can utilize the, the device with that, uh, that people think is going to, to make them happy, bring, you know, they're going to have fun, they're going to play games, games, they're going to maybe connect with people online. Um, and so with the, the veritable plethora of these available functions for our phone, um, it seems there is a never ending uh, time in which we are going to not use them. So um, I think there should be another app that's invented that automatically it blocks us from using our phone. It disables certain apps um, if we spend more than an hour on our phone each day. <laughs> I think that would be great. I could use it. I spend too much time on my phone just browsing for no reason when I could be reading. You know, I even mentioned today this amazing book that I'm reading. I should spend more time doing that and less time on my phone. So um, yeah, I think the, the only solution is also unfortunately uh, technology technological and um, would require a lot of willpower for people to actually use. Uh, so that's the only solution I could think of. And I honestly don't think that people are going to um, slacken in their use of their phones at all in the future. Okay. So guys, um, I love this topic. It's super fun to talk about. Um, please watch this video a couple, a couple times, note down some interesting vocab. And as always, I will type up the questions that I asked myself below this video. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, guys.、Um, remember, a very useful app is ours because you can have、um, exclusive bonus video content and listen to all of the All Ears English podcasts.、Um, so get the app, guys. It's for iOS. It's for Apple phones. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash bonuses. And if you're ready to commit yourself to a future past IELTS, get into our course. It's guaranteed to increase your scores. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash k e y s. Okay, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy the rest of your week. Bonus tip: Get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app, featuring exclusive bonus video lessons with Jessica, Lindsay, and Michelle. Get the app now at allearsenglish.com/app.